I don't know about you guys, but I never really liked riding the bus. Riding the bus just put a bad taste in my mouth. I can't even explain it. Just thinking about riding the bus just makes me want to cringe. I just, I did not like riding the bus. So I wrote, I started riding the bus fourth grade and I don't know. I just, I started riding the bus fourth grade. I did not like it at all. It was just dirty. Back then there was no AC. I, I wasn't feeling it, but I had no choice because my parents had to work. So I had to ride the bus. Now, I did get a couple altercations on the bus. I, nothing like bad, just, well, one boy did throw some oatmeal on me in fourth grade and I ended up punching him because, uh, hello, you're gonna throw oatmeal on me? <laughs> Not okay. And the bus driver kicked me off the bus. My mom went up there and talked to the bus driver. But the crazy part is, is I wasn't even mad that I, kicked off, that I got kicked off the bus. I mean, I didn't wanna ride the bus in the first place. So I was secretly happy that I got kicked off the bus because then my mom could drive me to school. But nope, mom wasn't having it. I told her my side of the story and she marched over to the bus driver the next morning. Yeah. So let's fast forward to around freshman year of high school. Freshman year, that's a whole story in itself, but we're just gonna go on to the bus situation. So there's this boy named Matthew. We're gonna name him Matthew or whatever. And he was that certain guy that nobody liked. He was just point blank annoying. He was really childish, but everyone just dealt with him. You know what I'm saying? You know that one person you just deal with? And I knew him since fourth grade. He always put a bad taste in my mouth as well as the bus. Well, ninth grade, I moved neighborhoods. I still went to the same school, but I had to move to a different neighborhood. And so I lived in Matthew's neighborhood. I was not happy about that at all, but whatever. I had to ride the bus in the morning, wasn't happy about it, and I realized, oh, Matthew's on my bus, great. I have to go to school and I have to deal with him in the morning on my way to school, just perfect. Two of the people that I'm gonna put in this story, it. So two of the people that I'm gonna put in this story is, I'm gonna name this other girl, let's name her Kayla, and I'm gonna name this guy, John. So we have Kayla and John. Kayla was a foreign, foreign exchange student from the Ukraine. If I'm correct, I'm pretty sure it was the Ukraine. She was a foreign exchange student from the Ukraine, and so she lived in our neighborhood because the people that did the foreign exchange program that were like letting her stay at their house, live in the neighborhood. So she started riding the bus. We were acquaintances, we, didn't, we weren't really friends, but we were like acquaintances. She was the one person I would go to to talk to when I got on the bus. So I guess she was like the easiest to talk to. And then we had John. Me and John were pretty good friends before she got there. I think she got there like a month later. Then like we already had our friendships and stuff. Me and John were pretty good friends. We were cool or whatever. We had a falling out, but for, mo for the most part, we were pretty good friends. Like we made up and we were good friends. So, there was always some tension between Kayla and Matthew. Everyone knew it, but he honestly, he had beef with a lot of people on the bus. He was just that annoying that no one liked him at all. So Kayla and John had, they had some beef and I guess it just, so it just escalated over time. Like I had arguments with this guy too. He was just so annoying and <sighs> he was annoying. He honestly was. So one day I'm going to school, we were on the morning, we rode the bus in the morning, we went to school, and I'm getting on the bus for the afternoon bus, you know, the rush. Sometimes our bus would come late because, sometimes our bus would come late because we had three schools. There was, a, and they were all in the line. There was the middle school, junior high, and then high school. They packed all these kids on one bus. Like, okay, so if the, they, put, they put all the middle school, the junior high, and the high schoolers that live in the same neighborhood on the same bus. Now, that reasonably is not gonna work because let me tell you, there's not enough room. I'm talking about people were sitting three to a seat. Some people were sitting on the floor. It was that bad, guys. It was so bad. And then all the schools got out at the same time so they couldn't do like routes and stuff. So they would literally 
go pick up the middle school and the junior high kids first, take them home and come back. So we would just be at the school forever. I'm like, okay, the school gets out at three something. Why am I getting home at five? I don't care. My mom didn't like it either, but there wasn't really much she could do about it. So whatever. But this day, I'm getting on the bus, and it's the afternoon bus. The bus finally shows up. I'm like, okay, thank you. All I wanted to do was go home and sleep, but I had to wait for this. So, I mean, by the time I get home, it's going to be dinner time. I mean, so I get on the bus, and we're sitting down. I, like, right when I got on the bus, I saw that Matthew and Kayla were in a heated argument, but I thought, you know, maybe they're just arguing as usual, because they did argue a lot, so I'm just sitting there on my phone, like, about to put on my headphones, listen to music, drown this out, um, I'm sitting there, put on my music, then all of a sudden, I see Matthew get up, he stands up, I'm like, oh, oh, uh-oh, what's going on, let me turn around, because they were behind me, so I'm turning around, like, hold up, what's going up? He stands up, then she stands up. Then they go to like the aisle area, they go to the aisle. She's standing in front of him, and then he's standing in front of her. And then he's like going down, he's like yelling at her. And I don't remember what they were yelling at. I wish I could remember, but I honestly don't. He's like yelling at her. She was short, so he was yelling at her, but she was not, Kayla was not taking it. I was like, okay, Kayla, okay. You know what, stand up to this bully, because that's what he was, he was a bully. I was like, stand up to him. Stand up to him. So she was yelling right back at him. And then all of a sudden, he said, Boosh. I was, Ooh. He pushed her so hard. This girl went flying. Like, she hit the, the okay, because we were in the last three seats of the bus. So there's like an emergency door right here. They were in, like, they were in by my aisle. And so this, was, this had to be like the, maybe the fourth seat. I was at the fourth seat. So they were like close to the emergency exit, but not that close. So when he pushed her, that girl went, boo, she hit the emergency door. I was like, oh my gosh. I was like, oh my God, then the bus driver didn't even do anything. She looked at it, said, she said this, look in the mirror to see it. Mind my business. I'm like, miss, miss, he just pushed her. Miss, he just, he, Hello? He just pushed her. She just minded her own business. She said, take off, ready to drive. I'm like, oh. And she took off for the school. I'm like, this was, this was your chance. This was your chance to get him off the bus. We're still at the school. But she said, you're driving on off. I'm like, oh no, she didn't. So John, oh, he stepped in and he pushed him back. He said, no, you're not about to push her. She's a girl. I'm like, well, he already pushed her, but you know. So he pushed Matthew back. And then so everyone was like just looking like Whoa. But props to John for stepping in because nobody else would. So props to John. And he told him to go back. And then so Matthew and his little friend that went along with him, whatever, they moved to the front of the bus and they sat up there. But this bus driver was wrong. Like, miss, you're wrong. You know you're wrong. You're wrong. Kayla was like, thank you so much, Don. Thank you so much, John. And then so John was like, yeah, he's an a-hole. He's like, he's an a-hole. Just don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. I was like, uh-uh. Uh-uh. So let me tell y'all. <laughs> this was shady of me. I know it is. But I mean, this boy has done more things in the past. And if y'all want a video of that, like he's done more things than just push her on the bus. He done, he did so much more than that. And so... I feel like her little thing was the last straw and the bus driver didn't do anything. So you know what I did? When I got off that bus, I ran home, told my mom what happened and my mom said, okay, we're gonna report him. Cause he's a bus bully. He was literally the bus bully. So my mom reported him. And then the next day, the next day y'all, uh, y'all, we get on the bus. We get on the bus, we all, the bus come late as usual. So we're getting on the bus, I'm taking my seat. Cause my mom reported him, my mom reported him. This is my first time admitting that, like, we reported him. But, anyways, so we get on the bus or whatever. We're sitting down. You know, we're waiting patiently. And so we're waiting for the bus to take off. But then the principal walks out, and she gets the bus driver's attention. And so we're wondering, like, okay, what's going on? You know, Matthew's sitting over here. He moved back to the back now. 
and it hurt him and um Kayla weren't talking, but we're sitting like, what's going on? I'm acting like what's going on because I already know. <laughs> so I'm just like, ooh. Okay, with where the popcorn is, with the butter. <laughs> so the bus driver come on, Matthew. And then so she everybody looking like, uh, that's you? She got Matthew. Oh. That, it, that's you. He was like, yeah, he got up and started walking. She said, no, bring all your belongings. I'm like, okay, yes. Now you did something, but you should have did something earlier. Shoot. Anyways, so Matthew walks to the front of the bus with his stuff. Everyone's like standing up, like looking outside the window to be nosy to see what's happening. So I'm texting my mom like about everything that's happening. And she's like, just act like you don't know what's happening. She's like, do what everybody else is doing. So I was like, mm. they were like, oh, somebody snitched. Somebody snitch. I'm like, I mean, I get it. It's certain things that I guess people wouldn't snitch on, but I feel like this is something you should have snitched on. Like, this person is bullying people. Like, he was a big bully. He really was. So, everybody like, uh, somebody told on him. Somebody told on him. I sure did. They didn't know that, but I sure did. So, he literally, they took him off the bus for one day. He didn't get the right, so... They took him off the bus and we drove off. The next day he was back on the bus. I'm like, what kind of? This boy needs ISS. He needs to be suspended. He needs to have his whole bus privileges revoked for the entire year. How dare you? This is, this is what's wrong with the school system. They don't handle out enough punishments. They allow people to bully other people. And that's the T. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed this, this story. Wait. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this story. Um, yeah, that was a mess. I definitely have more stories with him. So if you want to hear about those, thumbs this video up. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.